I guess it's important to have the camera on. <sighs> Behind me is a 2024 Lexus NX350 all drive with a turbocharged, I think it's 2.4. It does not come with a spare at all, and there's no place for a spare. So in this film, what I'd like to do is to demonstrate how I bought a spare and installed it in the back as if it were made that way. Well, pretty much as if it were made that way. Um, this is my wife's car. I really wanted to uh, have a spare. I really don't like uh, the run flat tires that, I mean, I don't wanna have to buy a run flat, right? This is a spare from a company called Modern Spare. Uh, the truth is I really kind of wanted the Toyota uh, steel wheel. But the truth is I don't want to buy an eBay Toyota wheel that's four or five years old, that's set out in the sun for a long time. And the date code on this tire is actually 2024. So the tire is pretty much brand new. On top of that, the mag wheel is lighter than the steel wheel um, and it's probably going to be easier for my wife or somebody else uh, to handle. Um, if you have ever had a lug stud, right, I don't like them, I just don't like them at all. So what happens is you can't just hang the wheel on the hub uh, because there are no, there's no uh, studs for the wheel to hang on. This is a 14 millimeter by 1.5 um, stud. It's like a installer thing. You put this into the hub and then you can just slide the wheel right onto it. Uh, this is actually a BMW part. Uh, so M14 by 1.5. So I keep that in the back. Uh, the spare wheel from Modern Spare actually came with its own lug nuts. Way. So I wanted you to see it actually on. Oh, the parking brake's on. Um, what, they, what I heard was you need a, at least an 18 inch wheel to clear the caliper. And it clears, um, it, the offset is correct too. So it clears this way and it clears out through the diameter. Anyway, so I wanted you to actually see it on the car. I tried to do this this morning and apparently I wasn't filming. There is actually one more thing I wanted you to notice. I really don't like uh, when the mags have these like multi-patterns, so there's a whole bunch of spaces for lug studs, but only five of them actually fit. So I used some paint uh, to actually paint the ones so that on a dark and stormy night, you don't have to be guessing uh, which hole is the correct one or which pattern is the correct one. On the back of this wheel, uh, it came with a plastic insert, a hub-centric insert, and because I thought, oh no, it doesn't fit very well, uh, maybe I should glue that in. It turns out that the plastic insert that it comes with is part of the multi-fit and is not for a Lexus NX. Okay. Now what's going to happen is you'll have this big tray here at the end. Once you've pulled the side panels up, this thing just lifts straight up. You can see there are some clips here and here, and there's two there. But this one actually lifted out really easy. So now you'll have two other pieces. You'll have this piece, which is pretty big. It actually goes from over here, comes down and has a bin that's here. You'll have that one and that one comes down and has a bin because the, the deep one fits right here. This, this piece I'm going to talk about in a second. So this uh, just has some clips here and some clips on the end. Those come up, but these, can you see these little shiny parts right in the back? Those are Christmas tree fasteners for the carpet, and you're going to have to pull them up. I have this tool here, which works really good for Christmas tree fasteners, but you can also use 
the uh, panel tools that have the little cutout in them to, to lift them up. It's called a Christmas tree fastener because it looks like a stud, but then it's got some little tines that come off the, the edges. So you just hook your, your uh, tool underneath them and pry up really slowly. If you live in some place that's cold or you're doing this during the winter, you might want to throw a hair dryer or a heat gun on them. Uh, now, don't melt them. You just have to get them a little warm. It was about 90 degrees outside, and so it was probably 100 degrees inside, and they pulled up, you know, just really easy. So you take the carpet off, and then you can lift, lift these two parts, right, completely out. Now, why did I do that? Well, because you can't fit the spare tire in there with them in it, but I did want to keep the place for the jack, and you notice I'm an idiot because I thought I had a jack here and I don't. Uh, I have the towing, anyway, and then it has the towing eye and the place for the, uh, the lug wrench, and I wanted to keep that. So I just took a Dremel and I just cut, just kind of randomly, I just cut along where I thought it would fit. I trimmed it and then I just put these, these plastic pieces back. You flip the carpet back over the edge of the plastic and then put the Christmas tree fasteners back in. If you would like to put a spare tire in your vehicle, what do you need? You need this part here. This is a piece of styrofoam that's going to cost you about $200. Uh, but for me, it was worth it. Uh, I got it from an online Lexus dealer because uh, I couldn't find it on eBay and I got it for $160. That is a very expensive piece of foam, but you notice that if you don't have it here, your spare tire is not going to fit flat. Now I suppose you could build up, you know, wood, and I am thinking about maybe putting some sound deadening in here. One of the other things you're going to notice is this cutout is for where the, sp the spare tire hold down would normally be, and it's not there. However, um, I honestly, this, this spare tire is not going to move around. It's not going to do anything uh, funny, and I, I am not concerned about it moving or squeaking at all. <laughs> hey, I guess when you're filming, you should turn the camera on. So this is what it looks like uh, with the compact spare in. Uh, I did decide to get the modern spare because the, I thought the weight of the entire assembly would be lighter and easier for my wife or somebody else to move out. It is pretty uh, pretty in there. So I don't think I need the hole down. Uh, I like to have it hub down so I can use the dish in order to put things. I have some electric uh, flares, so you don't have to have fire flares. It's a, like a battery rapid flashlight. And then over here is the first aid kit. Floor just has a couple of these little pins. They don't, they don't really clip in, they just kind of fall in to the holes at the far end. And there you have a completely flat load floor that will, you know, hold weight. Uh, at least as much weight as, as the thing would have held, you know, before with, the, with the, just the boxes underneath the floor. But you have a compact spare. So, 